dust. Dust is a substance that we all deal with day in and day out. But have you ever really stopped to think about what dust is and how it affects our lives? Blown by the wind across continents and oceans, dust does more than make skies hazy, congest lungs, and leave a film on windshields. Also known as mineral dust or desert dust, it can influence weather, hasten snowmelt, and fertilize plants on land and in the ocean. From the arid landscapes of Saudi Arabia, the American Southwest, China's Gobi Desert, and the continent-spanning Sahara, scientists estimate that more than a billion metric tons of material is lifted up in the wind. This dust will eventually settle across the world, but not before it changes our weather in ways we don't yet understand. Currently, the dust impacts of climate change are based on about 5,000 samples of soil for the entire Earth. We know some of the dust is light, like quartz and calcites, while other iron-rich minerals, like magnetite, are dark. These variations in color change how these minerals interact with our atmosphere. Understanding the dust composition is key to understanding the warming versus cooling and by how much, both on regional and global scales. Depending on the composition of the dust, it can cool or warm the, the dust. Dark dust, including dust with iron oxide, may cause warming, whereas light dust may result in cooling. Dust also plays a role in ecosystem and human health. Dust can deliver nutrients to ecosystems um, <clears throat> thousands of miles away. Dust can also cause respiratory problems in humans as well as animals. In order to properly understand our world's atmosphere and to model its future, we must understand the dust that fills that atmosphere. And this is where NASA's next Earth Science mission comes into play, EMIT, the Earth Surface Mineral Dust Source Investigation. Launching in the summer of 2022, EMIT will be deployed on the International Space Station. From this perch 250 miles up, it will study the desolate landscapes that dust comes from. EMIT will measure billions of locations for the arid regions of the world. The mineralogy will be sampled every 60 by 60 meter area in arid regions of the Earth, so not just a small lab sample. And it will measure more than a billion locations, giving us a far better picture of the minerals in dust generating regions. Image after image will reveal the chemistry of the landscape. If you know how to transform the 288 colors of each image into meaningful information, while a standard camera might combine red, green, blue to get full color images, EMIT's digital detectors capture 288 specific parts of the spectrum, including colors outside what our eyes can see. From capturing the warm light of infrared to revealing the beyond blue shades of ultraviolet, EMIT's images are like nothing a human eye and brain normally process. And this is where software comes in. Software developed right here at the Planetary Science Institute by Roger Clark. Taking inspiration from Star Trek, this software is called Tetracorder. In some ways, Tetracorder is like the tricorder on the science fiction series Star Trek in that it identifies materials remotely, but the tricorder only pointed the direction to the detected compounds. With imaging spectroscopy and tetracorder analysis, we've surpassed the Star Trek tricorder in that we produce maps of compounds. Understanding EMIT's data will be tetracorder's next big challenge, but this is not the first puzzle this software has helped researchers solve. Tetracorder has been used all over the solar system, discovering and mapping water on the moon, and mapping minerals and compounds on Mars and the satellites of Jupiter and Saturn using spectrometers on spacecraft. It has also been used to map ecosystems and geology on the Earth with aircraft-mounted instruments, and was also used in mapping the debris in the World Trade Center disaster and to derive the amount of oil on the ocean's surface in the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Tetracorder is also being used on PSI's NASA Survey Trex project, where it is operational on a new generation rover being developed by Carnegie Mellon. Tetracorder running on the rover analyzes data from a spectrometer providing real time analysis that enables the rover to make decisions on where to go. 
dust. It's no match to EMIT and its tetracorder-powered analysis.